we've always been very sensitive about what could happen here at Kyle Field. We wanted to make sure we honored the traditions. We honored uh, those that have gone before us to make this such a grand place to play football and the impact it would have on our former students, the students of today, and those that follow in the years to come. Well, the redevelopment of Kyle Field is the most extensive and the most expensive redevelopment of a collegiate athletic facility in history. It, uh, you know, surpasses anything that's been done at any of the major universities in the country. And we did it for one simple reason, and that's that we want to be the best. The stadium reflects the vision of the entire Texas A&M community. It will be the finest stadium in collegiate football. Everything we're doing now is designed to be the finest. It is going to capture all of the traditions uh, that Texas A&M is famous for, and it will be the best in the nation. And it will eventually house the national champions. It is such a challenge making sure that you embrace tradition and that you do recognize and appreciate the history and the heritage uh, and nowhere has more than Texas A&M. I'm excited that Kyle Field's gonna remain the center of the core of the campus, right across the street from the Memorial Student Center. So this is the heartbeat of the campus and Kyle Field deserves to be right there in the middle of it all. And we're all right here together as we always have been but yet the stadium is going to be bigger and grander and the quality of the construction is the very best. The 12th man uh, has just done yeoman's work in, in helping design this project and we're very proud at the Chancellor's Office and our FPNC division uh, to be the folks uh, charged with building it. Everyone has gotten behind this project and it has been remarkable to see how our donors and former students have come forth and provided the funding necessary to make this so successful. It motivates them, and so uh, so they have. They've given generously. Uh, uh, obviously, they've all given generously of money, but but many have given much more than that. They've given time. They've worked with us to get others engaged and uh, and been real advocates uh, for the project. None of it would have happened with just us or with with any few people. It took a, a, a large group of people to make this happen financially. It will continue to, to take that commitment going forward, but you know, we couldn't have done what, uh, what we plan on doing uh, if they didn't do what they're doing. Um, we're, we're all tied together. They inspired me um, in how they, they love this university. And man, I was, I was grateful that they elected to participate in this project because I knew that, look, I was doing it for them. You know, I was doing it for those folks that they gave money and, and wanted to be part of this because it, it uh, this is their building. And, and in some ways, they, I think they all knew that at the end of the day, it was going to be about them and, and to give them the greatest experience they possibly could have um, in college football. Well, the new facility means a lot uh, for our, the, the energy of our current players playing, recruiting. It's a huge, huge tool to, to be a part, to, to be able to talk to players and prospects about coming and playing in the finest football facility in America. Uh, it's a, a, just a tremendous tool. And for our current students and former students to be able to show up, being a first class venue, uh, it's, it's what, uh, it's what uh, everybody's going to be envious of. And, and it would be a real privilege to, to, to play football. We have now the opportunity to tell our story in even a more extraordinary and effective way. Again, not only just for athletics, that's only a small part of what we're doing. The big picture and the grand picture is to open the door to Texas A&M to more and more people across the globe. We are on schedule and on budget to, in less than 24 months, create a destination attraction a bucket list item for every serious college football fan in the country, and most importantly, an icon of Texas A&M that will communicate to the world that the Aggies are coming, the Aggies are building, and that Texas A&M will take a back seat to no one, period.
We not only met our goal, but we far exceeded it. Was our plan ambitious? You bet it was. Was our schedule bold? <laughs> you bet it was. And was our funding requirement a reach? You bet it was. But because we are Aggies, because all of us came together from the wealthiest founding donor to the couple on a fixed income who just couldn't stand to be without their Aggies on Saturdays, we've been able to accomplish this magnificent step. And we've only been able to do it because at Texas A&M, we work together. And at Texas A&M, there truly is a spirit that can never be told. And it's the spirit of Aggieland.